This is a Corrado T135. These are an excellent first motorhome or compact motorhome. This is actually an Edition 15, so it's got a couple of nice upgrades that we'll see as we go around the vehicle. The first is the fact it's got the silver paint on the cab, it looks rather nice. It's got the 16 inch alloy wheels on this, but it's a really nice compact vehicle and an interesting design as well. The German built these, so nice quality. And we'll take a quick trundle around the outside first of all gas bottle storage you can see is just in here but the other thing that these all have and it's fairly compact on this one but nonetheless it's there is the garage at the back so you've got the storage area really helpful area for deck chairs and all that kind of stuff that you want to have on the outside of the vehicle and access nice and easily we'll take a stroll on around the outside this one's got the awning on it so that's another very useful feature this is the cassette access for the toilet and that's where you plug in your 240 volt power straight into the vehicle there as well but we'll go on inside because it's the inside on this which i think is particularly attractive so there's a little button we can hit here that will power out the steps and in we go now i think the first thing worth mentioning is just how light an area is in here it's got a very contemporary color scheme it's got the light wood in here lots of big windows about the place as well so even with the lights off you get a ton of light into here you've got skylights up above as well another one up here and we'll start right up here at the front this has got the fiat chassis so this is in fact the latest fiat dashboard on these it's got the nine speed auto on here as well which is a very nice feature this has got the new steering wheel and the new dials and all the new bits that fiat are now putting into these these seats again this is the edition 15 logo these seats are uh, the upholstery is an upgrade with that edition 15 and another thing you get with this is the tv that's up there that's another edition 15 standard feature these seats of course swivel around another nice structure on this one is it's got four seat belts so if you want to take the family out and use it as a family vehicle you can do and it's compact enough that you could do that with it the table there you can drop you can make that into an extra bed it's really just a child's bed but it does give you a little bit more flexibility you've got the windows of course these open and there's also blinds that drop down over these that's a fly screen that way and you can pull it up like so to give you a night blind these are the seat belts on these seats and then if we head on around a little bit further we've got the kitchen over on this side there's some nice lighting on this as well i love the way they've done this all backlit in behind here you can see how that works and you can see that in various places you can see it here as well that looks really nice same across the back so although it is sort of aimed perhaps a little bit more of a budget market it still feels really up market when you're inside it up above the door this is the control panel again pretty basic but something you need so you can push that one there for example and it will give you the battery status that one is your water tank and your gray water tank so obviously those are empty at the minute because it's brand new the other thing you have here is a main switch that turns the whole electrics off so if you're leaving the vehicle you hit that you have to worry about leaving a light on somewhere in the toilet for example that you hadn't noticed so the kitchen is here this has got quite a decent three burner hob on this one and you've also got the oven as well that's down over on this side like so sinker course is underneath that one as you'd expect and then you've got a pretty decent sized fridge in here as well so it opens like so then on the other side you've got things like the heating controls are here that one is a really useful storage area for food or whatever else you want to keep in there and then there's a fixed bed this is a brilliant vehicle for couples actually because you've got this social area up here and then a fixed bed you don't have to keep making that up and putting it down every time you want to use it that's very very nice and of course that also gives you that garage underneath so that's a brilliant feature there's a ton of storage all of this up around here 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 all the way around are these big storage lockers like this there's another skylight up above as well and these have got blinds that drop across them and if we come on round the other thing that I think is particularly nice for a compact vehicle is the fact that it's a pretty decent toilet compartment you've actually got these perspex doors that move across you can see they're clipped back at the moment but those will close off the shower area which is at this end from the toilet area so not having to get everything wet in here every time you have a shower that's a really nice feature and then that one there you can swing out when you're not using the shower bring that one around 
and then that works really well as a toilet compartment. Storage in here, of course, like so. Let's drop that one back. In fact, that still works even when it's in that position. It's very well thought out, this. I'm pretty impressed with this. And again, you've got the skylight up above. That one's obviously opaque for a bit of privacy. <laughs> Not that you're going to get any people on the, on the roof, hopefully. And then the last thing to show you here is this one, which is just a really big hanging locker. And I like the way, it's a tiny detail, but look at the way this is grooved so that things aren't, every time it's sorry and break, everything's not sliding up and down here. That's fantastic. That's really good for a compact vehicle. I think that's excellent. It's a 140 horsepower engine in this one. It's a 2.2 litre. As I mentioned before, it's a Fiat uh, base on this one. So pretty standard for this kind of thing. But yeah, just a really nice all rounder. This one compact and nicely put together. Superb. I am going to finish up over here. And I'm going to say huge thanks to the Erwin Heimer Centre. They've organised this tour and huge thanks, of course, to you guys for watching. I'll put a link to Erwin Heimer in the description. Thanks very much for watching. Take care. Bye bye.